Yo, what is going on guys here? My name is Exposure Man and today I got for you how not to play Clash of Clans. This is a video for all of you guys just in general. It's kind of the pet peeves people find in Clash of Clans and how to overcome them. Maybe you were doing them yourselves or you know someone that's doing them and you can show them this video. It's kind of like the top five idiots of Clash of Clans and top five most annoying people in Clash of Clans. But this is directed towards you guys. Maybe you're doing this a little bit. I know I do it all the time. So um, don't be offended by this because, well, I do it the same as well. I can't be called, I, I can call myself a hypocrite about this. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You're going to be wasting time in this video. I know I always get that. And uh, that's pretty much all I had to say so I'll talk to you guys after alright guys so we're gonna run over about five things that you should, probably shouldn't be doing in Clash of Clans now there's no particular thing that is by bar none the worst thing there are some things on this list that is like definitely do not do and there's also some things that are like how those are a little petty you can actually get away with that the first thing we have is this is just for all of you guys this is probably the biggest mistake I see everyone who is very low ranking Clash of Clans or just new to Clash of Clans is that is do not rush your town hall unless you know everything there is all the repercussions for rushing your town hall a lot of people just rush it they think oh I want to be a town hall level 9 they might be like town hall level 4 so they go ahead and just upgrade their storages and their town hall and then they get in this spot to where they don't know how to play the game very well. So if you're kind of a noob, do not rush your town hall. If you know what you're doing, if you have, I'd say if you play the game for a few months and you feel like you can overcome it and you know the ethics of the game or the just the actual, uh, how do you say it, the options of the game, you can go ahead and do it. That's actually fine. and not fine by me that's actually could be suggested by some people because there are a lot more opportunities there's there's pros and cons to it so rushing your town hall probably isn't the best thing if you're a noob but you can still do it I just recommend having a little bit more experience that was one of those kind of things um, that I recommend but I don't think it's like too big in the game um, let's go into a more serious thing and that is do not try to hack mod uh, cheat in the game or even try to glitch in the game any of these kind of clients I know they're advertised heavily but they're not meant to be exploited you can go ahead and maybe play around with like a glitch or two um, there, there used to be some funny little glitches but things are exploiting the game to give you an advantage actually are not very good for you so do not go ahead and do those because what's gonna happen is one, you're going to tell people it's going to go viral and because glitches and hacks and mod clients always go viral and it's end up going to end up getting you banned and you're not just going to have that much going on for you. Things like Xmod games, I know a lot of people don't get caught for using Xmod games, but uh, if you do use it, you ha are likely to get banned. Um, it's not a huge percent chance to get banned, but you can get banned using that. Um, cheating, not too bad because cheating is kind of a broad term and glitching is not bad either but if it's like exploiting to give yourself an unfair advantage in the game I know that that's good and all but it's just not you shouldn't do it another thing is don't play on private servers that are advertised a lot because um, one you could get copyright strike I know that's a really really low percent chance but it is possible all right I was getting a little cotton mouth there so I went ahead and just paused it real quick the next thing we have is do not buy gems right when you start you're gonna abuse them so this is for all once again for the noobs out there um, you can buy gems and you can buy tons of gems but make sure you know what you're doing I know a lot of people will tend to rush their town hall with gems that's just the way it works so what I recommend doing is playing the game for about two months and then figuring out if you have like you know you bought like two hundred a hundred dollars in iTunes gift cards get those gems and then probably or if they're ever at a discount I don't know how you can do that but if they're ever at a discount or any kind of special promotion then get them and do not spend them just keep them right there and then eventually go ahead and buy them when you feel like you know how to do it I recommend doing there's lots of videos on there how to spend your gems effectively I think I even made one and um, that's kind of a plug and then go ahead and make a smart educated choice another thing is this is just terrible ethics and everyone seems to do this I know at our school we did it a lot and do not by any means 
just don't spend other people's gems because that is money and money is it's almost like just taking someone if you if someone came up to you and took your dollar and just ripped it up or spent it on a piece of gum and chewed it and then gave it back to you gave that piece of gum back to you that's basically what it's like spending gems on things for on other people's accounts not to that extent it's kind of uh it's, it's a game it's virtual cash but you're using actual money to get that virtual cash and it's just not really ethical so that's one of those things do not play the game like that where you're going around maliciously spending people's gems or spending people's resources um, very annoying very very annoying so um, I know that's happened to me that's kind of a real life issue another thing is we're gonna go with do not do the story mode fully until you're town hall level 9 probably a lot of people make the mistake of when they're like town hall level 7 they go ahead and they get the story mode out of the way and get all that loot well when if you don't know about this the higher the town hall you get the less percentage you get on most bases for getting their loot so the lower town hall you're going to be able to get more loot with your farming it's going to go out well so if you can go ahead and you're at town hall level 9 where you're not getting as much loot as you could have with town hall level 7 a good way to boost that is to do the story mode that will help you out a little bit as well so that's why I say doing that at that particular level it's not the biggest issue at all it is really only a couple million I know a couple million golden elixir but in the long term um, it's not going to affect much, but maybe in the short term, it'll help you out just a little bit. All right, guys, I had to go ahead and take one more break. And for our last tip, it's going to be do not try to be bossy, hoppy, like do not be a hopper or act like a noob. This is probably the thing that like, annoying people. If you're a guy who is a leader in a clan, do not be that bad clan leader who sets super high standards that nobody can meet, that kicks out a ton of people for maybe personal issues. Um, don't be that guy that guy everyone knows that terrible leader and if you're really bossy like that Just not the way to go um, The next thing is a hopper I know a lot of people justify hopping and that is good in certain situations if you don't know what it is It's basically joining a clan maybe requesting for troops and then leaving or joining and leaving in a very fast sporadic time um, the second reason really isn't worse but it's the ones that go ahead ask go and join your clan maybe a new upstarting clan that's really trying to get good members they go in they ask for troops get their troops and leave and these people are going wow all you did was take from me so um, it's really kind of rude and not many people like it there are times in which you can hop and I you, there's requests in GTFO clans which basically are donation clans and they donate to you and all you have to do is join in get your troops and go but it's not good for if it's a startup clan that really that's just a burden so don't be that guy don't be the bossy leader and then don't spam chat don't spam global chat and say like hey I'm a noob or hey I'm a girl something like that um, it's definitely just looked down upon in global chats um, that's pretty much it guys that's all I have to talk about how not to play Clash of Clans hopefully some of these tips kind of helped you in the future so when you actually do play the game a lot or if you're still playing you can kind of correct some issues maybe you know not to use my gems right away or maybe you know not to rush my town hall without having a proper guide if you want to know a proper guide on how to rush your town hall I'll put a link in the description and it tells you how to effectively rush your town hall that's pretty much it though, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you p please leave a like, that'd definitely be appreciated. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, later.